Welcome to the Light Factory device setup video. In this video we're going to talk about how we can actually get DMX out of the system into your lighting network. There are two main ways in which we can get DMX out of a PC. The first is via USB and the second is Ethernet. The USB option is typically means we are talking to a specific manufacturer's device, whereas with Ethernet we are talking a specific protocol and the manufacturer of the device is irrelevant. If no device setup has been done, Light Factory will attempt to try and auto detect what hardware you currently have connected. This only works with USB hardware and the system will not auto detect any Ethernet based devices. Those will need to be configured manually. In this example, the software has actually found a DMX King Ultra DMX device. If you have a USB device connected and the software has not auto detected it, then most likely the device drivers are not installed and you will need to manually install those. You can download the device drivers for most of the supported USB options from our website. To manually configure output options, go to the system properties and open the first tab labeled system with DMX in brackets. There are three sub tabs in this window, but we will mostly focus on the first one labeled network slash USB. The other tabs, console ports and advanced routing are primarily concerned with the Neo console. The console ports configure the physical ports on the console, whereas advanced routing is primarily used for configuring ShowNet where partial universes can be sent. This system has a setup for 10 DMX universes. Although the setup of output universes is independent of the authorization, you can configure as many universes as you like, however the authorization will limit what the system will output. As well as the 10 output universes that can be configured, we can also configure DMX input in the same table. The DMX input is used to either map incoming DMX signal to submasters or merge it with another universe. You can think of the universe setup as a routing table where we can determine where a particular universe of DMX is going to be sent. To configure universe 2, for example, we click in the device column to select which device we want to output. This is broken into two sections. The first is our Ethernet options and the second is our USB devices. As mentioned before, with USB we are talking about specific manufacturer's devices. In this example, we are going to configure Universe 2 to use Artistic License Artnet protocol over Ethernet. As soon as we select this, many of the other fields automatically populate. The port determines what universe on that protocol the output is going to go to. So in this case it's defaulted to the first available universe which is universe 0. Artnet always starts at universe 0, whereas most other protocols will start at universe 1. In this case, if we wanted to send universe 2 of Light Factory's data to universe 3 of Artnet, we simply select that in that port field. For Ethernet devices, the Net Interface field must also be set. By default this will configure to all interfaces. What this means is that it's going to send this Ethernet data over all Ethernet devices that it finds. Selecting this we will see the IP address of various interfaces on the computer. On this computer we have two Ethernet cards and we see the IP address of each of these listed. If we want the ArtNet data to go out only on this interface we simply need to select it. Frame rate is not available for all output options, however in this case both our Ultra DMX device and Artistic License ArtNet both support setting the frame rate. It can be useful to adjust this field if you are having problems communicating with your lights. The official DMX spec specifies a frame rate of 44 frames per second, however I would recommend keeping this set to its default settings unless you need to change it. The priority field is only available for the streaming ACN protocol. This allows you to merge multiple DMX streams and set a priority as to which one always has precedence over the others. The information field is a read-only field that displays any information reported back from the device or the device driver. And the description field is a user editable column that allows you to label the particular universe with whatever information you find useful. For Universe 3 we're going to use Streaming ACN and we're going to use the first universe or the first Streaming ACN universe. This one is going to go out on my other interface and we can now see that the priority field is available to us but we do note that Streaming ACN doesn't allow us to set the frame rate. And I'm going to give this a description as well. 
This setup is a little unusual in that we wouldn't normally mix different protocols. It would be my recommendation that you decide to choose one protocol or another rather than mixing them. But if you have a device that only outputs a certain protocol, then you may need to mix them. Returning to our first universe, which is configured for a USB device, the port slash universe field allows you to actually select the physical device on your system. So if we have multiple devices connected, we will see them listed and we can select them by their serial number. The software will remember the serial number and its configuration so that regardless of how the devices are plugged in and what USB port they're plugged into, they will always map to the same universe on a restart. If you need to configure a lot of universes within the system, you can use the right click option to export and import device configuration to a common limited file for editing in Excel or some other spreadsheet. This can be a very convenient way if you have 100 universes to configure. Some device drivers have additional properties. By right clicking and selecting driver properties, we can open a separate window that is generated by the driver itself. In this case, ArtNet allows us to turn on and off unicast communication. With unicast communication, the software will send a universal DMX directly to the device rather than broadcasting it on the network. This window also shows all of the devices that have been found and what universe they're actually configured for. So in our example where we configured Universe 2 to output to Artnet Universe 3, I can see that that is going to go on the fourth port of this Strand 8 node. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.